Farm animals, who are just as capable of feeling pain as dogs and cats, are often confined in cages and crates that prevent them from making even the most basic movements. Three types of confinement are particularly cruel and inhumane. Veal crates, gestation crates that confine pregnant pigs, and battery cages that egg-laying hens spend their entire lives in. To produce veal, calves who would normally still be nursing are taken from their mothers. For the four months before they're slaughtered, the calves are typically tethered by their necks in tiny crates that are too narrow for them to turn around or even lie down comfortably. This makes their muscles weaken, their joints stiffen, and their bones become brittle and break. The calves suffer immense stress and fear. During their four-month pregnancies, thousands of female breeding pigs in California are kept in gestation crates, individual metal stalls only two feet wide. The crates are so small that the animals can barely move and can't even turn around. Their confinement results in muscle wasting and crippling joint and hip disorders. Frustrated and bored, the animals routinely exhibit neurotic coping behaviors, such as repetitively biting the bars of their cages, chewing the air, and waving their heads. The vast majority of egg-laying hens in America are confined in barren battery cages that are so small they can barely move. In fact, each caged hen has less space than a sheet of letter-sized paper on which to live for more than a year before she is slaughtered. Furthermore, the factory farms that implement these inhumane practices create tremendous amounts of waste, which pollutes water and air, harming rural communities. Studies have found that people living near factory farms suffer from more headaches, nausea, and respiratory problems such as asthma. Factory farm waste also emits greenhouse gases, contributing to climate change. On November 4th, Prop 2 on the ballot will be the Prevention of Farm Animal Cruelty Act. If it is passed, this moderate initiative will provide the most basic protection to farm animals, merely allowing them to turn around and extend their limbs. The purpose of the measure is to prevent three of the most cruel and inhumane forms of confinement of farm animals, veal crates, battery cages, and gestation crates. The Prevention of Farm Animal Cruelty Act will reduce the suffering of nearly 20 million animals confined on California factory farms who are barely able to move an inch for their entire lives. Make sure you're registered to vote before the November 4th election. By voting yes on Prop 2, you can help eliminate these cruel confinement techniques from California farms. The good news is that there are alternatives to veal crates, battery cages, and gestation crates, and many forward-thinking farmers are already using them. The entire European Union has already banned veal crates and is phasing out gestation crates and barren battery cages within the next four years. Arizona, Oregon, Colorado, and Florida have banned gestation crates, and Arizona has also banned veal crates. Yet in California, the use of these abusive crates and cages remains normal practice. The effects of this act on consumers will be minimal. Research has shown that it costs less than one additional penny per egg not to confine laying hens in battery cages. Furthermore, since this measure targets large factory farms, it can help protect small farmers from massive animal factories. The proposition has been endorsed by more than 500 California veterinarians and vet hospitals. A number of city councils, including San Francisco, Berkeley, and Los Angeles, as well as Senator Dianne Feinstein and Mayor Gavin Newsom, have also endorsed the act. Visit HumaneCalifornia.org for more information on how you can support this historic initiative. And ask your friends to support this campaign to prevent animal cruelty. One way you can raise awareness about the campaign, as well as raise money, is to host a house party. Invite your friends, family, coworkers, and neighbors, and anyone else who might be interested in hearing more about the campaign. You can plan a barbecue, a potluck, wine and snacks, or cocktails and dessert. You can also build support through endorsements. Many people's votes will be influenced by who else is supporting the initiative. Reach out to veterinarians, family farmers, and organizations you're affiliated with. Write letters to the editors of newspapers. Since many letters don't actually make it into the paper, make your letter more likely to be printed by making it brief, personal, clear, and by sticking to the message that it is cruel to confine animals in cages so small they can't turn around or extend their limbs. And of course, vote yes on Proposition 2, the Prevention of Farm Animal Cruelty Act, on November 4th.